The first Christians in the book of Acts didn't call themselves Christians. In fact, the term Christian was given to Christians by those that weren't Christians. It was a political term, literally meaning those who belonged to the party of Jesus. This group of people that followed and worshiped this Messiah that they claimed rose from the grave had become a prominent enough of a group of people that they needed an identifier. Something I find inspiring is what they actually called themselves. In Acts 24, the Apostle Paul is standing trial and he tells us exactly what they called themselves. In response to charges brought against him, he tells them that he isn't guilty, but he goes on to say this, however, I admit that I worship the God of our ancestors as a follower of the way. The first Christians called themselves followers of the way, and that designation occurs in some form six times in the book of Acts. And that phrase, the way, in the Greek, literally means teaching in the most comprehensive sense, a whole way of life. To believe in Jesus is one thing, but to follow Jesus is to order our lives around His. If we're honest, we can so quickly and easily reduce following Jesus down to a personal belief statement rather than a personal mission statement. To follow Jesus is a way of being, a way of doing, and serving, and loving, and ultimately becoming. By the power of His Holy Spirit, let's strive to not just be believers, but to be better followers of the way of our resurrected Savior in the life that He modeled and taught.